This course will go through the basic fee preparation for the Advanced APS Practice Management software. Let's have a look at the agenda. We'll learn how to create a fee on demand for a single client, allocate WIP to the fee and all write-off amounts, we'll prepare the fee narration, and then finally we'll review the fee for posting, printing and clearing the fee lock. Let's get started with this step-by-step -step process. Firstly open the fees application. Then from the ribbon select the add to create a new fee. Go and get the new debtor. Next. Type your debtor in. Check the entity if you're using entities and select the matters or deselect matters that you do not wish to bill for this particular debtor. I'll include them all. Select next. Ensure that you've included the invoice date to be the date of posting. And also exclude any date after the, the period in which your invoice is to be raised. Click on your custom view. Select edit mode. Adjust your column selection if it's the first time that you've used fees. Keep it simple to start with and remove the milestone fee and all the period to date. Save this as your default layout. We're now ready to enter in our fee amount. To keep it simple, you may put in your total here, $600, press the tab key, and instead of carrying forward $13, oh, we will write that off by double clicking on the write-off column. If you need to restart the fee, do this from the action menu. The other way to allocate fees is you can go line by line. Double clicking on the row will enter in the amounts. I've allocated the disbursements from this front screen. You'll notice that the padlock has appeared for each row that I've double clicked on. I still want my fee to be $600. If I tab after that and double click on my right on right off column, it has allocated the $282 to each of the yearly matters or to the people on that. If I want to have a look at the allocation details, just right click, look at the allocation details. The allocation has been working on a pro rata basis to the timesheets. If you want to change the allocation, you can change your grid layout by clicking on FIAN, for example. Double clicking on the amounts will put these back to zero. If I want to bill everything from graduate to as is, I can simply do that by double clicking on the amounts. The padlocks will appear to say they are locked. My $282, I can apportion at the bottom. It'll prorate it to whatever's left, and I can write off the difference here. Likewise, I can untick the padlock, take this back to zero. In this case, I'm going to deselect a timesheet entry. I don't want to include this in the fee at all. So I can deselect it. I've still locked these items. I still want to bill the $282. But in this case, it will result in a write-on of $148.50 for this particular timesheet entry. So it is important that you do review and look at the allocation details if you are a person that reviews fees. Once you're happy with your total fee amounts and your write-off, and you've reviewed any visual cues that you see on the right-hand side, in this case we have one here for $155 for the unextracted WIP, this will show you unextracted WIP, unposted WIP or negative WIP all of which you can view the details by clicking on the icon.
determine the appropriate action. Once you're happy with your fee amount and the allocations, you need to build your fee narration paragraphs. It could be as simple as clicking on the narration screen and free text typing that in there. Or you may choose to right click on the paragraph and use your narration builder. The narration builder allows you to select a source in this case, we'll look at previously used. And I can copy that amount to the clipboard down the bottom. And when I'm happy with this particular paragraph and I've added anything I want to it, copy the clipboard to the fee line. Now that you've created your allocations and your narration, you may look at your preview of the invoice. If you're just working with a single fee, you can do everything you need to from your custom layout. The alternative way is you need to preview your invoice. When you're happy with that, you'll post it. And then once that's completed, the post step will change to clear log. Likewise, you can do this from the worklist. The worklist at the bottom will have your invoice worklist, so you can preview the fee this point it is a draft fee. You can right click post the fee if you have the relevant rights to post. Once the post has been happening you'll then get a fee number. Once the fee is posted the final step will be to clear the fee lock. That's so that the fee, the matters extracting that fee are released so somebody else can fee it in the future. That completes the fee process. You're now ready to go and start a new fee. So what have we learnt in this course? We've created a single fee from the fee console. You prepared the WIP details and allocated the fee amount and write-offs, keeping a lookout for any visual cues, unposted WIP, unextracted WIP, or negative WIP. You prepared the fee narration using the narration builder, and you successfully posted, printed, and cleared the fee so that we're ready to start the next one. On behalf of the Reckon Training Academy, we thank you for your time and we hope you found this useful.